The question we seek to answer is this. Should high school photography classes teach students how to use darkroom photography or the newer digital photography? Let's start by going over the basics. Photography, from the Greek words for light and writing. The first ever camera was the camera obscura, basically a large dark room with a tiny hole in one of the walls. Through this hole, the image of the landscape is projected on the opposite wall, which allows the artist to trace the image on canvas. There are drawings of this dark room from as early as 1519. The first ever chemical photograph was made in 1827 by Nepeat, who eventually joined partnership with Louis Daguerre. The first photo required an exposure time of eight hours. Though Nepeat died early in his life, Daguerre went on to develop new techniques, including photographic plates, to be named daguerreotypes. These daguerreotypes' exposure times are now 30 minutes rather than 8 hours. Time goes on and on, and eventually we come to the cameras that we use today. Not only can we take photos in black and white, now we can even develop color photos. As the digital era has exploded, we've now been introduced to digital photography and a little program called Photoshop. With digital photography, we can do amazing things. The question still remains, should we teach high school photo in darkroom or digital? Let's look at this from different perspectives, starting with our photo teacher. Our teacher thinks it's important for us to learn darkroom photography first because of all of the processes of developing the film, exposing the paper to light, and processing the image. She also wants us to physically modify our images rather than just telling the computer to do it for us. She has also put an emphasis on us using fully manual, single-lens reflex cameras, yet again having us do the work rather than having the camera auto-zoom and auto-focus. While she makes a valid point, most students in this class would rather learn the new technology, because it is more relevant to our lives. As students in the digital era, it is more likely that we'll want to know how to use Photoshop than how to use a darkroom. From our parents' point of view, we're talking money. The cost for a 35mm single lens reflex manual film camera ranges from $40 to over $450, but the cost is manageable. The cost of 35mm black and white film ranges from $4.50 a roll to $10 a roll, and our teacher says we'll use approximately 8 to 12 rolls this semester for a total possible cost of $54 to $120 per film. For a package of 36 sheets of black and white paper, the cost is $25 to $40. We'll need at least two packs of paper. The grand total for the cheapest way to get through this semester is $144. Now let's look at the cost for digital photography. A single lens reflex camera with manual capabilities costs $469 at base price for new cameras and skyrockets from there. The costs for memory cards range in order of memory space from $10 for 2 gigabytes to $24 for 8 gigs. We'll have to provide our own printer paper for final photos, and at the cheapest, these cost around $14 per package. Grand total in its cheapest form for digital photography, $493, and thinking that darkroom photo is cheaper and more accessible in this aspect. As our principal, Mr. Smith wants to please all, including our teacher, us, and our parents. I think a good way for the school to provide closure for everyone is to offer darkroom as level one photo and digital for level two. This way, students learn all of the darkroom techniques before entering the digital realm. The answer to our question? Schools should teach both darkroom and digital photography.